Yo, Tech Leech, welcome to the Cobra Pit. And I want to talk about the trolls on YouTube and how to handle them. Every single day. Now, trolls and some will call them haters is not a new thing to YouTube. Since its inception, there's been people on here saying negative things for whatever reason. Even way back when my very first YouTube video when I was just a baby cobra. There were some comments that were just uncalled for at the time. What's cracking, YouTube? I'm Baby Cobra. And you can say goodbye to CDs because I have the brand new iPod. 30 gigabytes of music. So you can listen to all your songs all on this one device. Now, when you're dealing with trolls, you have to remember one thing everyone's perspective is their reality now i'm no psychologist but you just have to remember for whatever reason these people make these comments and do these things that doesn't matter they have their reason for making that comment and it's not our job to figure out why they may not like your video for legitimate reasons or they may just want to just say something to be funny to get attention whatever they may be hurting on the inside and that's their outlet. It does not matter. What matters is how you handle it. I know it's hard to ignore and turn the other cheek. You could delete the comments. You can block them from your channel. You could do whatever you want to do. But I highly recommend the best way to handle the trolls and the negative comments to focus on the positive comments, to focus on the positivity in the YouTube space. And there's tons of it. But you know what? All the negativity is what makes the good things so great. A famous quote from American rapper 50 Cent, he said, sunny days wouldn't be so great if it wasn't for rain. Joy wouldn't feel so good if it wasn't for pain. So turn that negativity around Look at all the people you may have met here on YouTube, the communities. I have a great story that happened not too long ago. Eric Drummond, I'll link his channel in the description, posted a video. And after watching the whole video, at the very end, he had a giveaway. And it was for a Raygen or a Rigen. I'm going to go with Rigen. Char wireless charger. And he saved it for the end. He didn't put it in a thumbnail. He didn't put it in the description at all. He just saved it for the end. And he said, you know what? This is for people that rock with me. That's going to watch the whole video. And uh, go ahead and leave something in the comments. And I'm going to give away three of these wireless chargers. And I thought that was cool because he didn't do it for the pub. He didn't do it for the views. He did it for the people that rock with him. And I really appreciate that. And actually, I commented and I was thinking, I probably won't win because I'm a content creator as well. And uh, lo and behold, I won. So I thought that was real cool. And, you know, he didn't discriminate. He did it at random. It doesn't matter who I am. And I really wanted a new wireless charger from my office space. And this one fit the bill. This is model X19 rapid wireless charging stand. Just look at the aesthetic of that. That's clean. That's perfect for office space, especially if you have an Apple centric office space. And I think it'll look real clean. And like I, like it says here, five, 7.5, 10 watt output. Okay, let's see what's up with this. And it says down here, Ryzen, Ryzen. I'm going Ryzen out of San Francisco. All right, that's cool. Let's pop it open. And looking at it right here, nice. All right, that look cool. And not only does it come with a fixed charging cable, it comes with a power brick. A lot of wireless chargers and accessories do not come with a power brick. So there that is. See how long this cable is. Okay, I could rock with this. So here it is. Sit it on there. Bow. Just like that. Pretty good. Pretty impressive. I like it. I like the way it sits. And what you're going to see on your desk is just that. That's minimal. I love it. 
like the way that looks. I love it. All right. Thanks again, Eric, for that. And uh, keep it positive, baby. So in the spirit of positivity and giving, I want to give away a brand new Google Home Mini. And I'm going to do it very similar to my boy, Eric. And uh, just leave a comment. And in the comments, don't say this is for the giveaway. I want to win. Just put for the culture. You put for the culture and I know you put your hat in the ring to get a free Google Home Mini. Now it's not the most expensive thing, but it's free, right? And it's cool and uh, I'll choose that random at the end of the week and I'll ship that out. Just remember, for the culture. I think that's really cool because the negativity can bring you down, they can hold you back and it's hard to filter through at times. But just know if you're doing this for the love, if you're doing this just as an outlet from your own personal issues and things like that. Just remember all those people that come on here and say negative things and hurtful things. That's coming from a darker place and that's their outlet. So don't let it affect you. Spin it. Look at a positive. Think about how much good is out there. Think about the great community you may have met. Think about the great comments that were left. And try not to focus on the few comments and things that might ruin your day. Hey, don't forget, Tech Leads. We do this for the culture, baby. We do this for you. Cobra told you. We out.